Today's telecast is presented live from Baltimore Scaryland and we're at b and Spank Stadium for today's game. The stadium is sold out and the atmosphere is electric. The fans want to see some hard-hitting carnage <laughs> and so do I. I heard the city was famous for crabs. So if you get lucky tonight, Grim, make sure you take a shampoo with that quell lotion and see a doctor. Remember, in the MFL, we encourage you to play with your food. He's probably lining up against you. The Blitzburg Steelheads battle. The Baltimore Razors. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone, Grim Blitzro with you on MFL Game Day. Hey, uh, Briggs, do you smell something burning? Ah, oh, thanks for reminding me. I left my rubber foot in the toaster oven to warm it up. Last time I left it there too long, it came out like Saganaki. Oh, uh -huh. It's freezing in here. Hey, why don't you take a shampoo and ouzo? Stick your head in the toaster oven. That'll warm you up. And it's first and ten. And the defense just called the ginormous dirty. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. Second down and seven. And the defense goes for the juggler and rushes to kill the... And the whistle blows the play dead along with the quarterback. First and ten. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Second down and ten. Oh, sure. Now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Grim. He was starting to go somewhere, but he gets stumped after three. They usually stop me after three, too. You know, the all-you-can-eat buffets? They're not as literal as you'd think. Second down and two. down and six. How do you miss a bomb kill right in so much space? This your first time playing the game? Hey, you with the controller in your hand. I'm talking to you. I don't understand. Why are they going for it, Green? This seems like a situation where they should always... He took a big boost injection. Next to Don't try to get fancy here. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, ho oh, crowd's loving it. Yeah, Well, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. for that showing, but their team has a chance to respond.
And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. Oh, welcome to Fumble Town, USA. Population, this guy. Boy, he should be more careful when he hurdles. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. the ground game and pick up the first. Nicely done. And it's first and ten. It's about a three-yard pickup. Second down and seven. Hot one, hot two, hot
drive alive. First down and one. And so at the end of one, we're all tied up. We'll be right back. First down and one. First and long offense says it's time to put the rep out of his misery. It appears that the last rep was calling his stockbroker during the huddle and that tipped him off. It looks like he won't be buying that boat anytime soon, huh? First down and forever. Returned it for a touchdown and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. Kabam! And the defender just lays a vicious hit on the receiver and jars the ball loose. Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. And the punter has one job to do, and that's punt the ball. Pretty just let that one drop and play it safe, and the defense says we'll take it. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot. Oh, and he just turns ginormous. Look at Good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the change of score, did it? How good can it be? Second down and five. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hey. First down. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Check the line and he gets his bell run for a yard. Second down and nine. Hot. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. Nice pickup for six yards. Third and four. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 And a hard run there picks up the first down. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. Hot two. Hot. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be 
thinking about bad hit? Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And that'll be second and eight to go. That pass played next from seven yards. Oh, no. I got to put the hiccups again. What are you supposed to do to get rid of them again? You stick it in a plastic bag, say the alphabet backwards while you set yourself on fire and jump out the window. It ought to stop them. Did the shock treatment work? Well, after she killed four of the doctors and zapped her, they never bothered her again. So, yeah, I, I guess it worked for her. First and four. Like he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Gwen? That line ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. And that'll be second down and four. Was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So is that cheerleader. Third and four. Chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Team hates it. And it's first and ten. And the defense was reading him like a book. Like it was written in braille, Grim. His head. Oh, with the brutal hit. <laughs> Six on the play. Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. And that'll be second down and four. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's bad? They stopped the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Ah, that's okay, Grim. They can have mine. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. He refuses to go down. Picks up two yards on the pass. Grim, this guy's six feet tall. He could just have fallen over and got... That's it. That's their last timeout. It's them against the other team and the clock. Ah, that doesn't seem fair. I'm going to throw a hammer. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify.
Well, the third quarter coming up. Bricks, this game has been a hot mess so far. Yeah, kind of like the morning after eating hot chicken wings. It's a hot mess on the exit ramp, if you know what I mean. <laughs> when you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. Second down in a very lot. Whenever a player gets big like this, it reminds me of that Tom Hanks movie. Philadelphia, good movie. That's a six yard gain. Third down, and the punter is warming up. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. Second down and ten. And the defense gives up five yards there. Third down and five. point but you never know with kickers <laughs> it goes right through yeah like a double stop burrito from taco hell <laughs> let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty whichever oh man he really wants it position in football the mighty punter nice punt should move him back night and he's got a chance for a good return here oh what a brutal hit and it's first and ten Man 
about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. Cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's gonna have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. Second down and five. Second and one. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. First down and six. Three yards on that run. The third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. Second down and two. Mistakes here, just kick the ball through the upright for God's sake. And then, my friends, is why the world hates kickers. I kind of feel sorry for him. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. Shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? First down and seven. Geez, you give this guy a bigger paycheck. Ouch! What is this, Andy's wrestling? And it's first and ten. should be their bread and butter. A gain of eight right there. Hey, anyone seen that Korean kid yet with my barbecue? Last time I ordered Korean, I got Kim Jong-il. Talk about Butterfingers, he should have had that one.
Third and two. And that's a first down. Looks like they're just going to pound it up the middle all night, Bricks. I call that the honeymoon offense. I'm not going to touch that one. That's what she said. And it's first and ten. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. Oh, what a brutal hit. And it's first and ten. The ref calls a penalty. You know, the MFL has eliminated almost every penalty in the rule book, and yet it still feels like there's way too many penalties. Stupid jerks. You guys suck. The quarterback. Look out. That's an all-out attack on the QB. His only chance is to run out of bounds. And look at the QB run for his life. He's so fast. Nah, I just found out about that cheerleader's pregnancy test. I'd run too. She's huge. Second down and a lot. And that player just transformed into a giant. Oh, and he fumbles the ball on that hit. Wow. It's like a blood mobile crashing into a slaughterhouse. Kickers? <laughs> well, there's your answer, Bricks. <laughs> Second down and five. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. Good time for time. 
Perez needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And that'll be second down and four. We're at the two-minute mark in the second half. And that'll be second down and four. Hot, hot one, hot two. He took a beast boost injection. Now watch him stomp all over his opponent. I want to take a beast boost injection, too. Uh, now that has weird side effects, Bricks. Holy mother of mutant mayhem, his squad! Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, they kick the kicker's job in half? They just get called seven. And then, my friends, is why the world hates kickers. I kind of feel sorry for them. The onside kick is a desperation play, but it's their only chance at this point to steal a possession. Stealing ain't right, Glenn. It just ain't right. Since he's a kicker, that brings him up to a one-hole highlight. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as that. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep, third grade. The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. You can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the, the quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just clock blocked the clock. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry up. For one when you can go for two. It's always been my philosophy, but Bricks can't even get one. Oh, we're talking about points. Two point plays are high risk, high reward, and it just didn't pay off. And now they're both screwed and stupid. Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. Uh, I thought they were going to do some sort of chorus line. Usually only talk about kickers when they win or lose games. Well, this guy just earned his paycheck. Which is typically the amount the quarterback tips on dinner. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. You've got to catch that. Offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, she was Prince's ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah. Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And they take their last time out. It's between them and the clock now, Grim. Well, and the defense, too. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. He had it for a second there. needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay him for the pick six. For this, you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck. Pow! With the brain scrambler! The offense has an uphill battle, and it all starts with making this first down. And the defense anticipated a pass there and put an end to the
severe offensive drive. Like my wife always said, not tonight. And it's first and ten. Nice run for five yards. Baltimore Razors win at home. And that's like waking up next to a beautiful girl after a night of drinking. <laughs> Bonus. They come up big today with a solid win, and the opposition will be licking their wounds on the long plane ride home. I heard horse tastes just like chicken. How was it scrambles tomato soup? I forget, but a good scab tastes like bacon. Now I know. Mm-mm, a scab lettuce tomato sandwich. Sounds like a picnic. And the MVP is about to inspire us with some words of wisdom. Yo, man, nobody can touch you with our palm. I pick all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.